have? Hey, it's been a while. If you're wondering where I've been for the past couple of months, well, I found a game where I feel my time is more rewarded compared to the ranks of Valorant. God, I do not miss that game. No muncher, get one kill, brother. Where is my team? The game I found is an old game that I used to play all the time. That game is World of Warcraft. Retail, of course. I'm not an old man. Oh no, there's so many buttons to press. Wah. My ADHD thrives in this game. I put so much time in this game already. I'm a gamer. There are many options in the war of Worldcraft, whether it's mount farming, PVP, transmog, raiding, mythic plus. Yeah, I'm like that. But I'm here for one thing. You see, when I was a little squeaker, I would play PVP all the time, following the footsteps of my favorite streamer. Being an infant, I had no idea what I was doing. But now that I'm older, Nonetheless, there is a difficult goal I wish to achieve before the season ends, and it's another mount I can add to my collection, the gladiator yeah. mount. Yeah. See this riot? Take notes. Even though it's not the best glad mount. Blizzard, please make next mount. I can't fucking read, bro. Blizzard, please make next seasons better. <laughs> In order to get this mount, I have to get Gladiator. Which, if you're not familiar with the ranking system, World of Warcraft PvP, or player versus player, rating starts at a solid zero, and you have to fight your way to the top to get Gladiator, which is 2400 rating. Guys, I kinda like that. That's not all. To get the mount, you have to win an additional 50 games within 2400 rating plus. Oh, did I mention that it's specifically only for 3's arena? Which basically means 3v3. I wouldn't say it's the worst, but the inflation of the rating makes it hard because I'm going against people who have PvP experience of 20 years, including the top pro players. Yes, this game has pro play. Sounds simple, right? Why do I do this to myself? So in order to get this mount, I have to win and keep winning until I attain this mount. My dream of Radiant has already been smeared but I will win this for myself. I will play until my wrists and fingers ache, until the risk of carpal tunnel flows my veins. I thirst for blood. <laughs> I've been to battle with my brothers at arms, defeating the dirty scum of the horde. In the midst of battle though, I felt a calling. Something was wrong. Walk with the earth, mother. Uh, hello? Is someone there? Ah, uh, I've been expecting you. Who, who, who are you? I have just the thing for you. Ah! Okay, it was time for a race change. I was over being human. The racial wouldn't work half the time. Like, what's the point of having the human racial when I can't use it? And yes, I did level up a whole character. I wasn't gonna pay $25 just to race change. That is absurd. My new race is a cow, if it wasn't obvious enough. But this new race gives me a new ability called Curb Stomp. It allows me to stun any enemies that are close to me. This racial will be important in my battles to come. More on that later. But a fresh new character, means new gear to grind. Oh, I can't wait. See how all my gear on my human is purple? Yeah, we want that. To begin my adventure of turning purple, I started with an epic battleground. Rothworm. What? What? What the hell is this? The goal. These battlegrounds are epic because there are up to 40 players on each side. Wow, that's a lot of people. Now, I really don't participate in epic battlegrounds, especially as a warrior since my frames epically decline if I charge in. <laughs> Riveting gameplay. So I usually fight on the side or defend bases where my computer can breathe. War. Why do we fight? Is it only because of conflicting ideas? Oh, hold on. Can I, can I play my character? Curb stomp. And I can't hit him. He ran away. What a coward. Oh. 
Man, I have a strong dislike for rogues. They literally counter... Hello? <laughs> what is this thing? Oh, See, we don't have to fight. Oh nice, we won. Winning an epic, epic. battleground Go. gave me 125 conquests. For a full set of purple conquest gear, I need 10,825 conquests. But there's a shortcut. Whoa. I can farm different gear that will go up to 636, as opposed to conquest gear that gets you to item level 639. This gear is still way better than the current gear I have on now, which are greens. Whoa. To achieve this purple gear, I need to do world quests in war mode. War mode basically is PvP mode within the world of Warcraft. That means any faction opposite to me can kill me, or vice versa. I usually stay peaceful unless the opposing faction starts hitting me first. Except that one. That one was too easy. <laughs> world quests have a variety of options. I like the flying racing ones because they're easy. One kiss is all it takes. Fall in love with me. That's abilities. But the others usually involve killing stuff. Screw all if I tag these first. Oh, bro's hitting me. Time for the big spin move. Mess with the bull, you get the horns. This quest is so slow. Like, look at the movement speed. Yo, we're good, right? You're not gonna hit me? Ah, oh, shit. It's time to play the game. Time to play the game. I begin with a charge into the lock, right after activating my big PP damage macro into my big stun ability. It's time for the big spinny boy. Oh yeah. No, that's a lot of damage! Rampage into execute. He stunned me? I'll trinket it to charge in again. Following a rampage, slow, and a heal. I'm getting low. It's time for my curb stomp. Another slaughterhouse. Kick his fear into an execute. Rally cry for more health and bloodthirst for the finishing kill. Mess with the bull, you get the horns. What? What is that sound? Each world quest completed gives you 100 bloody tokens, which is the currency used to buy the gear. At this point, I've done so many quests, to the point where I ran out of world quests. Although there is one certain group of world quests I have not done. Pokemon. They have Pokemon in WoW. Let's go, give me my... It revived! Now during all this questing, I was queuing for Battlegrounds the whole time. And playing WoW Undergeared is... Well, it's an experience. Do the Doom. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Summon the boy. Do it. Nothing happened. Help! Someone help me, please! Oh yeah, did I mention if you lose a game, you don't get any conquest. Another Arathi Basin? Alright, hopefully we'll- Alright, we're already losing. Do I even play this out? Yeah, this was- This was a loss before even- Before I even loaded in, it was a loss. Why- Why are you- Who's putting me in here? Am I in loser's queue? At last, I was in every multiplayer's nightmare. I- was in loser's queue. No matter how hard I tried, nothing was working. My team was getting slaughtered by the enemy, but I tried my best. It was not enough. But at last, sometimes you have to give up and take the L. As I sit there in the fields of the battle, I pondered and asked Earth Mother for help. I need conquest. I need gear. All I want to do is play Three's Arena, but do I have what it takes to keep going? I meditated for as long as I can during this battleground, knowing damn well we're losing this shit. As the shaman waves to me one more time, as he hands the crystal in, I say goodbye to my friend. And I thought to myself, looking at the defeat screen. Of course I have what it takes. I ain't no bitch. I'm trying to get this gladiator right, mount. I will not give up. 
I made a vow to myself to persevere through the struggles. I'm not gonna let some hiccup stop me. I will take the lives of every enemy I cross paths. Especially chickens. God, I hate chickens. I'm going to open a fast food restaurant that only serves chicken. Hopefully, I'll be able to save my family by forcing people to eat chickens. Every chicken slain is a cow saved. I will quench my thirst of blood by slaying all the chickens. <laughs> only 80 conquests?